we're going to make an angel candle. I've got a candle and I've put an elastic band around here and then you can get some twigs from the garden and stick it in so that we've got almost like a hedge that's going round and things. Um, we should have really used rosemary and rosemary smells lovely but if you haven't got rosemary anything will do and so I'm going to stick all this in and make it pink and then you're going to see how clever you are. You can use a pen, a sharpie pen or something like that and you're going to draw some sheep and shepherds. I'm going to draw a quick sheep there who's got curly hair and there he's got a little eye there and he's got four little legs and he might even have a little tail. And then on the other side, I've already drawn my shepherd and my sheep. And I'm going to stick it here into some Play-Doh there so that it stands up. And then we can light the candle and the candle can shine in the dark because Jesus shines in the dark and gives people hope. And he shone in the dark for the shepherds and that when the shepherds came to Bethlehem, so you have a think and see if you can think of somebody who you could shine a light for, um, somebody who needs a bit of hope and extra help at this time. Hi, it's nearly Christmas. Oh, I bet you've been already opening the, um, cal um, the windows on your advent calendar. And today we're going to make some shepherd cookies. Um, which well we know we're, going to, we're not going to be making the um the biscuits but we're going to um, be decorating some gingerbread men so you can buy um gingerbread men in uh, in the shop um and you could just take them home and decorate them um, as you want and we're the shepherds were some of the first people who actually saw jesus after he'd been born um so that makes them really really special um and uh, and they were just normal, normal working people um, out on the field, out in the fields. And the angels appeared to them and uh, told them that Jesus had been born. Um, and they came and saw Jesus in the stable. So we're making um, these uh, gingerbread shepherds. So I've got some gingerbread men, um, which I've made. And we can put the recipe for the gingerbread on our website. And I've got, I've got two different cutters. So I thought I'd use the big one. And I'm going to make him um, some clothes. <coughs> so uh, we've uh, I've got some green fondant icing, and I'm just going to cut out a uh, a bit of an outfit for him. So using um, just using a sharp knife. So I'm just going to give him a bit of a, a sort of uh, I don't know what you would call it. What um, Tunic, that's the word. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> brain went. So I'm going to pop a green tunic on him, just spread it out so it's all over him. And um, I might make cover his arms a bit as well, just with a little bit of icing. So there we are. And this icing. It's actually quite soft because it's really quite warm in here um, and it uh, sticks quite well. But you might need to put a little bit of um, um, other icing underneath just to make it stick. Okay, so there is my shepherd with his um, green tunic on. And I thought we could give him some hair. So I've got some white icing, but you could get some brown or whatever colour icing. But my shepherd's going to be quite old, so he's going to have white hair. So I'm going to give him a bit of a bit of hair. Here we are. He probably had quite long hair because I don't think they had hairdressers in that time. And I'm going to give him a mouth with some red icing. I'm just going to give it a little squish around. And sit him in the cupboard for a while. So let's give him a nice smiley, smiley face and some eyes. I'll give him some blue eyes. And what you could do is, if you wanted to, you could decorate the um, the tunic with some stripes or something like that. 
I'm going to try. Didn't work. Yeah, that's not working. Let's try with the red. Give him another stripey cheek. Again, we can do. My hand is wobbling, so the lines are all wobbly. <laughs> so you can do whatever you want to do. Um, decorate him however you want. And if you really wanted to, you could make him, um, give him a um, staff, which is a, a, a like a crook for that uh, shepherds used to rescue sheep from awkward places or to pull them into into line. And I've got a chocolate uh, stick, so you could just pop that there, and there is your shepherd. So I've not done the others, but um, you can use those that sort of size as well um, and just do with it what you would have a whole collection of uh, shepherds and you could um, also do some sheep to go alongside them so have fun okay hey guys how are you doing we have just had some fantastic stuff go on so sandra has just done an amazing job with those candles and sarah has just done an amazing job um, with those shepherd biscuits I want you to think about a shepherd for a minute. Um, a shepherd looks after sheep and uh, takes care of them, uh, makes sure they're well fed and clean and looked after. Um, sheep, um, when looked after well, um, will smell fairly nice, but still not that nice. Um, there's, a, there's a kind of a characteristic that goes with them. Um, you know, anyone who works, who does kind of a lot of manual work will kind of maybe smell a bit or be, get a bit dirty because that's the nature of the work. I used to be something called a ground work. I did it for a few months and uh, it was hard work. It was lifting, carrying, you were in mud, digging in the ground with my hands. I drove diggers, um, you know, and it was hard, hard work, very physical work, um, laying concrete and stuff like that. And one of the first things that I used to do when I used to come back from uh, doing my ground work was um, jump in the shower because I stunk. In fact, I was like, get in the shower because you, you, you smell. And that was really important um, because then I was, you know, people enjoyed being around me a little bit more. Um, but shepherds, why would Jesus have uh, shepherds? You know, why would God, you know, have shepherds uh, with him when, when he was born? Uh, in that moment, if you were, any royalty um, who, who's being born, um, it wouldn't be like, you know, bringing uh, the shepherds or, I don't know, bringing the ground workers or the builders or the carpenters. Uh, it's just not something that, that's done uh, normally. Well, Jesus isn't normal. Jesus um, is the son of God and he, he was born on earth. And I think it's really powerful that shepherds were with Jesus uh, in, that, in that moment of um, that nativity scene. Because shepherds, uh, uh, there's something earthy about them, and there's something that is uh, real about them, um, and the, obviously the, sh the symbolism of a sheep, um, a lamb, is, is so important um, uh, in, in in what Jesus came to do for us. So I want you to think: if you were in that nativity scene, if it was the wise men, the shepherds, uh, the angels, and you, uh, what would you bring? Uh, Jesus. There's that, fa there's that famous line from the carol, if I were a shepherd, I would bring a, la a lamb. What would you bring Jesus? What is your gift? What are you good at doing? Um, what, how would you offer that to Jesus? So that's my question for you today, is this Christmas, what can you offer God? So thanks for connecting guys to Messy Church and we will see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>